All right, so eight seconds, second and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. And there it is, baby, yes! We drive down the field and score a touchdown, putting us down by three at halftime. Where uh, you had accuracy on that drive? Where? Why can't you do that the rest of the game? What a beautiful pass there to Thomas, who stepped up big in Hayden Hurst's absence the last few weeks, and that's going to put uh, Carolina down by three. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Bryce Young Player Lock franchise here in Madden 24. And we are in week 17. We're going up against the 9-6 and six Jaguars. Uh, I don't think we have played them. They're not in our division. But let's take a look here. We got a lot of stuff going on here before we get this game started. Let's take a look and see what the playoff picture would look like if we were to go to the playoffs today. There's only, what, two weeks left. Uh, Cowboys win the division. They get the bye. Uh, but we're still in fifth place. We're going up against the, the Vikings now. Uh, it might have been la the Vikings last week, too. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, but uh, Kansas City, of course, winning it over there on the other side. Yeah, Jaguars are in AFC. I'm so dumb. I, I forget that sometimes, you know? If it's not the NFC East, then I forget. That's kind of the way it is, you know? I mean, I know a few other N NFC teams and AFC teams. I know most of the divisions. If I sat down and wrote them out, I, I get it, you know? But off the top of my head, no. All right, so uh, could be a big game for us. I don't know. Let's do the upgrade here to Bryce Young first. Uh, do we want improvise? We need deep accuracy, man. Deep accuracy. But do we want... We're going to go field general again because improviser is already one point ahead. We need some deep accuracy, though. He cannot hit that deep ball. Come on, give it to us. Throw accuracy deep plus two. There we go. Throw accuracy mid. Throwing on the run and throwing under pressure. I mean, these are great. These are great. Love this. Love it. Good stuff for us there. So we're up to a 78 overall now. Can't complain about that. You know, let's see what the prep talk is all about. All right, Chuba Hubbard. Hey, man, just wanted to touch base for our game. I know earlier this year that we both felt differently about how I could best help this team, but I feel like I've really picked up my game since then. Let's dominate this week, dude. I, I mean, that's not my, really my decision to put you in or not. Like, if you're in, I'll get you the ball, okay? I'm the quarterback. I'll get you the ball, but you got to get in first. So maybe that's something we need to... We need to work on maybe next season. We'll start up and uh, d -d 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 -d. is it under? Dude, is that something we can even do? I don't know if that's something we can even work on. You know, um, I don't think we can do auto subs. Oh, that crashed the game. Anyways, all right, let's play some football. Let's not waste another minute. We'll get an away game here. We're going to Jacksonville. To TIAA. The TIAA Stadium or something like that. Everbank Stadium. At TIAA Field. Or TIAA Field at Everbank Stadium. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this crap. All right. Oh, we missed it. Bryce Young had a big game last week. No interceptions. Three touchdown passes. So, uh, Trevor Lawrence, man, looking pretty good. Not sure how he's really done so far in, in this franchise. But Bryce Young wanting to get things done as well. And I think we can. I think we can go here in Jacksonville, win this game. Now, will it affect our playoff hopes? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're going to be in the playoffs regardless. 
But Jacksonville's got a good team. Okay. Where's my announcer voice? La 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 la. Uh, all right. Second, uh, first and 10 after a five yard reception. Six yard rush by ETN. That brings up a second and four. Pass knocked away by Dante Jackson. Third and four. Big 12 yard reception, but Calvin Ridley brings up another first down. Zach Zay Jones gets a nine yard reception. Penalty by the right end. So they're just going to move right down the field and score on us. Here with a second and 10. Third and six after a four yard rush by Trevor Lawrence. And the ball now on the seven-yard line after another six-yard rush by Lawrence. Ball on the one, and they're going to punch it in. I mean, our defense just didn't stop them at all. This might be... This might be a long game for us, boys. Might be a long game. If that's the way it's going to be every every possession, we're in trouble. Bryce Young taking the ball here on the 25-yard line. Taking the snap. It's a counter play. Sanders finding a hole. Look at that. Uh, maybe we're going to be able to run on him. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Injury timeout for Jacksonville. Andre Cisco. Now looks like a knee injury. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Maybe it's just a cramp. I've never seen this. That's exciting. Second and four now for Carolina Ball on the 31 yard line. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wait, what? Cover your other guy. Ah, uh, got, I got it. That one I should have. That's on me. I should have thrown it like across the middle of the field, not when he got way over to the sideline. The third and four now for Bryce Young here. Uh, in shotgun. Takes a snap. Gonna dump it off to Thielen for the first down. And Josh Allen now injured on the play. So. Three plays and two injuries for Jacksonville. First and 10 ball on the 40 yard line. Uh, they're playing some bunk coverage here, huh? Young taking the snap. He's gonna try to get it over to the left side of the field to Thomas and incomplete pass. Gonna bring up a second and 10 now. I think I should have went to the other side. I had two corner outs. I think I really could have went with either one of them. And a handoff to Sanders. There is a guy in the backfield. And a big loss there. I say a big loss. One yard loss on the play. That's gonna bring up a third and 11 now as Lloyd comes unblocked and gets Sanders. Or a loss of yardage there. Third and 11 now. Ball on the 39-yard line. Young in shotgun. Sanders lined up to his right. Takes the snap. And he's got... I mean, you could throw it anywhere in the middle of the field except for where you throw that ball, and that's a completion. But you just happen to throw it to the one, one spot where there's a defender. You throw it right when he makes his cut, open. You get it in there. You wait a little bit longer. He gets past that middle linebacker and you throw it open. First down. But you throw it right down the middle. Now, whose fault is that? That's my fault. It's not the computer's fault. So, Carolina defense needs to step up here. Second and six. Third and five after a one-yard rush by Lawrence. And incomplete pass. So, Carolina's defense holds. Going to be able to get the ball here. Ooh, Carolina getting the ball on the five-yard line now after a great punt by Jacksonville. Hand off as the stretch play to the right side. Sanders trying to make a man miss. Unsuccessful. Gets three yards on the play. Going to bring up a, or a second and seven. Sorry. So two tight ends set to the left side. Elon and Mingo out wide. Another stretch play. This time to the left side. Sanders. Oh, gets around the corner. Gets up field. I don't know who number two is, but he went flying in the backfield. He got hit hard. And Wingard, 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 number 42 with the tackle. The new set of downs. Ball in the 25 yard line now. I'm taking the snap. 
And trying to get it over on the out route. And that gets deflected. Young, one for five today so far. Trying to find... He, he does this in every game. It takes a little, little bit for him to find his rhythm. Young. And another pass attempt. This time over to Mingo. Six yards on the play. That's going to bring up a third and four now. Ball on the 31-yard line. Okay. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Jacksonville on top, seven to nothing. As Jacksonville's been, for the most part, dominating this game. Hmm. Man, I really wanted to run that screenplay that I just I called, but now it's not there. Young, all by him lonesome. Ooh, and Mingo sits down in a void there. And Young finds him across the middle of the field for a first down. Ball has moved up now to the 38-yard line. Young spends most of his time out of shotgun. He's going to take another snap out of shotgun. And he's going to get it over to Sanders. I mean, this play has not been stopped all season long. Well, it has a couple of times. It's been stopped. But when they're playing a single high safety and they're bumped, they played up like that. I mean, they, it's almost like they were playing a run. They were playing off the run. And Sanders, one of the best out of the backfield in receiving. Comes up big there for Carolina. Putting the ball on the 15-yard line now. Jenkins with the tackle on that play. And a handoff to Sanders. He makes a man miss. He's going to get seven on the play. So second and three now. Ball on the eight-yard line. Carolina looking to tie this game up. Take a snap. Counterplay out of shotgun. Sanders juking and jiving, but nowhere to go. He does manage to get two yards on the play. Here we are now. Third and one. And I'm not... Third and one, ball on the six-yard line. Coaching suggestions, not the best. And he's going to dump it off to Thomas across the middle, and that's going to be a touchdown. They decided to blitz that outside linebacker lined up over Thomas. Freed him up. There was a middle linebacker there, but Young able to put it in a spot. Actually, he didn't really put it in the spot he was intended to, but he's able to get it over to Thomas before that middle linebacker could get over there for the coverage. Here we are with seven and a half minutes left in the second. Carolina tying this game up. So the kickoff. And ball now. What just? Wow. Did they just return that? Or was that a run play? Oh my God, that was a run play, wasn't it? So Jacksonville scores on a big play. 14 to seven now with just under seven minutes left to play. Okay. How can you have good accuracy but still be out of the reach? Don't get it. So, second and 10. Young out of shotgun. And dump this one off to Thielen, who has a seam. And he's going to get upfield for a first down. Young, 6 for 11, 87 yards and a touchdown today. Still plenty of time left on the clock. They're down by a score, though. Looking to tie this thing up. Hand off to Sanders. There's a uh, uh, man. It looked like the Red Sea parted there. But somehow, defender shakes a block and manages to bring down Sanders before he could get through that hole. Second and six now. And a bad snap. Sanders gets it over to Chark Jr. We haven't heard from him much in the last couple of games, but... He manages to get a 
reception there, bringing up a third and one now. So a big play for Carolina here in the first half. Just under five minutes left to play. Ball on the 45. And a handoff to Sanders. He goes up the middle and gets it's about five yards on the play, I would say. And that's going to give him a first down. So with a new set of downs, the ball in the 50-yard line. And Thomas wide open, but it's not a good pass and didn't lead him enough. And Williams able to swat that one away. That's going to bring up a second and 10 now. Under center and off to Sanders to the right side. No gain on the play. That's going to bring up a third and 10. Hicks with the tackle. Hmm. Nowhere to go for Sanders. He's going to try to escape the pocket, and he gets just enough for the first down. Every receiver was covered. Young had to scramble. He had plenty of time in the pocket, but just nowhere to go with the football. Earl route, bad throw. I mean, this accuracy. We're going to have to bump up the sliders, I think, on the accuracy. Let me know in the comments down below. Should we bump up the sliders on the accuracy? Ready? I think we will. We, uh, we almost have to. We're just not completing anything. All right, third and 11. Oh, man, what do we run here? Young taking the snap. And he's going to... Oh! Another poor pass by... By, by Young. And that's going to bring him a fourth down. I mean, we almost... We have to, like... I think we got to bump the sliders. I don't know what they're at. Well, we can't be this inaccurate every game. I and mean, we're throwing like 33% here. I'd like to see what, what are our stats for halfway through this game. They're going to drive down a score. We can't stop their offense. It's too potent, huh? Big sack by Brian Burns. Third and 10. Four than five. They're going to have to settle for a field goal. Oh, man, I didn't see that screen there. Should have called that one. Oh, and he gets it over to Mingo before that other safety comes up. And uh, Carolina calling their second time out. Down by 10. As they're looking to go into halftime, trying to get a few more points on the board. Young with the, oh my God, he has a tight end. Wide open, it comes up with it. And that's going to put the ball on the 24-yard line. 25 seconds left. And probably should have got down there and just spiked it. Now that I think about it. Because this is going to put us in a weird spot now. No timeouts. We got to get down there and spike it. All right, we can settle for a field goal here. We, I mean, we we technically have one play into the end zone. All right, so eight seconds, second and ten, all on the eleven yard line. And there it is, baby. Yes. 
We can drive down the field and score a touchdown, putting us down by three at halftime. Where uh, you had accuracy on that drive? Where? Why can't you do that the rest of the game? What a beautiful pass there to Thomas, who stepped up big in Hayden Hurst's absence the last few weeks, and that's going to put uh, Carolina down by three. Here we are, starting the second half, and uh, Carolina getting the ball to start the second half. Ball on the 25-yard line. Man goes in motion. And snap. It's a jet sweep. No, it's a fake. And Sanders gets four yards on the play. Second and six now, ball in the 29-yard line. Young handing it off again to Sanders. Sanders has nowhere to go on that play. Does manage two yards on the play. Young taking the snap. <gasps> Oh, Young throws it right to the middle linebacker. Never saw him. Lloyd getting his first interception of the game. That's the first interception thrown by Young today. Devin Lloyd. We'll get another look at this one here. I mean, you just he was going across the middle to Thielen, but never saw Devin Lloyd sitting there uh, in that pocket. And here comes Jacksonville's offense up by three. And with a good field position now, they got the ball on the 35-yard line. And this is uh, going to be a great opportunity for them to go up by two scores. And they rush it. Pass it. Third, second and first down after a four-yard rush by ETN. And a loss of uh, two yards. So second and 12. 11 yard reception. Third and one pass knocked away by Shaq Thomas. And uh, there may have been a uh, turnover. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know what, what happened there. They wasn't a turnover, but they tried to kick a field goal and missed it, I guess. Hand off to Sanders on the counter play. So here we are. On the 12 yard line, second and four. Oh, okay. That works. Should have kept that one, though. So here we are. First and 10, ball on the 18 now. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in the third. Nowhere to go for Sanders on the handoff there. 14 rushes, 61 yards. That's going to bring up a second and eight now. I don't know where that safety was going, but... It leaves Mingo wide open down the field, and that's a big reception by Mingo. That safety crashed in. The left side safety there. Bryce Young reads that, sees it. Opens up a lane for Mingo for the uh, stretch out catch there. Three minutes and 20 seconds left. Ball on the 43-yard line. Hand off to Sanders. He breaks the tackle. Oh. And he had a daylight there, but one guy to beat, and he ends up coming up with the tackle. If he shakes that last guy there, that he, he was going. He was going the distance for sure. So second and five now. And it's another pass play. We've got a mismatch over here on Sanders. 
And he comes up with it on the corner route out of the backfield. Had a middle linebacker cover now, Muma. And he just couldn't ke keep up with him. So first and 10 now, ball on the 18. And another handoff to Sanders. Muma there with the tackle. I think that was Muma. Could be wrong about that. Yeah. Second and 10, ball on the 17 yard line. Sanders looking a little tired back there. He gets it off to Trimble. On a play action. We've got a little full. Jenkins got a little full there. And uh, realized a little bit too late that this was a pass play and not a run play. And that's going to put the ball down on the four yard line now. Surprised Miles Sanders isn't taken out yet. They, we've got to adjust these. I wish I could adjust the sliders. I don't think I can. If there's a way to do it, uh, maybe at the main main menu. Maybe I'll take a look at that. Try to figure it out. If you know, leave me a comment, please. Cause he is uh, he's a worn out. Ball on the three yard line. Second and goal. And it's another handoff to Sanders, who makes a cut back to the left. Nowhere on the play. The ball's going to remain on a three-yard line. Third and goal now. This is a big play. Big play for both teams right here. Ooh, and they blitz the guy over top of Trimble. Or no, that's Thomas. And uh, Thomas able to come up with the little hitch route there and get into the end zone to take the lead. Carolina now 21-17 over Jacksonville uh, with the closing minutes of the third quarter uh, coming up. Or uh, the closing seconds, I should say. Let's see what uh, Jacksonville has in store here. Incomplete pass by Trevor Lawrence. Three-yard rush. That makes it third and seven as we're going to start the fourth quarter. Big penalty on Dante Jackson. Gives him the first down. Seven-yard reception to follow suit. And a 20-yard reception by Ridley. With nine minutes left, they have the ball on the 19-yard line now. Five-yard reception by Kirk. And uh, they're getting uh, they're in the red zone. Ball on the one-yard line after another penalty, and Jacksonville puts some more points on the board. They're going to take the lead back from Carolina, 24-21. And off to Sanders. Nowhere to go on the play. Lost a yard. Sanders finds Thomas over on the right side of the field for a big gain and a big completion. Or maybe I should say a big completion and a big gain. That's going to give uh, Carolina a first down as they cross the 50-yard line now. Bryce Young looking pretty good today. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. And it's a play action. And a deep curl route to Thielen, and he comes up with it. It's a young, 294 yards through the air today. Three touchdowns and an interception. That's going to give uh, Carolina another first down. Ball on the 24-yard line. Young running into... What's going on here? Mm. That, that's my fault. Down. 
24 21 six minutes left stretch play to sanders on the right side it's about three yards on the play Third and seven for Carolina. Ball on the 22-yard line. Young takes the snap out of shotgun. And he's going a corner route. And it's incomplete. Not the right read there. And it looks like Carolina's going to settle for the field goal. Wow, 20 yard kick return by Jacksonville, followed by a 15 yard reception to Jones. 70 yard rush by ETN. So the defense is not showing up yet here in this drive. Trevor Lawrence has an incomplete pass. 20 yard reception by Jones. And they're just moving their way down the field. They have found a weakness in the Carolina defense here with the tie a ball game 24 24 as they now have the ball in the 26 yard line. Loss of a yard on a rush play, but followed that up with a five-yard rush by Trevor Lawrence. And Evan Ingram joins. Oh, my God. They do settle for the field goal. So, with two minutes left, Carolina down by three. Dang it! That was a big play. That was a big play for them. Second and 20. I was trying to throw the ball away, man. I was trying to throw it away. Like nowhere to go. Oh, that's going to be... Come on, get your block. Get your block. Not enough. Not enough. Third and 16. We got all three timeouts. got to punt it we got three timeouts so hopefully we hopefully the coach punts it here no oh, what dude coach i don't know man i don't know if this is the play we got mingo wide open though and he gets down the field and gets the first down fourth and 16. Mingo Hat comes up with a big reception there to keep the drive alive. Nervous. Nervous to say the least. First and 10. Ball in the 37 yard line. Carolina down by three. And that's got to be a pass interference. Nothing. Nothing. Man, I swear that was a pass interference. All right, so a minute left. Minute seven. Ooh, bad snap. It's a draw play. Sanders has daylight. He's going to get down the field and get a first down now. As Carolina is looking to possibly just kick the field goal and take this into extra uh, overtime. Young's going to take the snap. They're going to try to get a few more plays off. Oh, my gosh. Look at Sanders wide open over there. Second and 10 now. 40 seconds left. Young under center takes the snap. And he's going to get sacked. (sighs) 
We got timeouts. I should have. I let too much time tick off the clock there. We got time for another play before we kick a field goal. Even if we get just a little bit down the field here. Oh no, he read it. Fourth and 13, 29, 39. 46 yard field goal. Should be able to kick a field goal here to tie it up. Yes, we do. All right, so we're going to take this uh, into overtime. We're going to get the ball first, so let's uh, let's not waste any time. Let's drive down the field to score. Ball on the 25-yard line. Start things off for Carolina. Dude. It's cover sacks, man. I'm sure somebody that's watching this video will say there's somebody open you can't always see them second and 20 now crap man Why is this play always the third and long play? It's not even a good third and long play. Young takes a snap. It's going to get across the middle and a feeling, but it's not going to be enough. We're going to have to punt this one away. See what happens. We got to prevent. Uh, well, if they score, they win. And that's uh, looks like that's what's going to happen. Dang it, man. I mean, they're just driving right down the field on us. They're just going to run and run and run. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, D. That's going to be it. And Carolina. Carolina going to lose this one on the road to Jacksonville in overtime. Hard fought game. Uh, but uh, Jacksonville's defense steps up big there. And comes away with uh, a victory for them. Not sure exactly how that will affect uh, Carolina's playoff picture here. But uh, let's take a look at the stats for the Panthers. Young, 111.6, 21 for 35, 360 yards passing. That's his biggest day so far passing. 60% completion percentage, so pretty good there. So we actually did really good passing the ball. Three touchdowns, one interception. Average 10 yards per attempt. And uh, he had 47 yards was the longest. Sanders, 21 attempts, uh, 78 yards. So 17 yards was his longest. Yards after contact, 32. No fumbles, no touchdowns today. With that being said, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. It helps the algor algorithm. Uh, if you like the content and you're new here and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to bring that bell icon. I release three Madden videos a week. And if you like baseball, I also release three MLB The Show videos a week. I got a Kyler Young player or Kyler Murray player lock franchise. No, that's not at all right. A Kyler Young, Kyler Murray, <laughs> Road to the Show. Oh, man. Why couldn't I get that? I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, y'all have a good one. Peace.